In this uh, video, we would be talking about the hormones which are produced from the ovaries. Similar to uh, testis, ovaries are the primary reproductive organs in case of females. Testis were also one pair of uh, testis and ovaries are also parent structures. So they are two in number. And ovaries, they produce uh, three main hormones. The first hormone or the group of hormones is known as estrogens. Estrogen is a group of steroid hormones. And there are many types of estrogens which are placed under this. Beta, estradiol, then esterone. These are some important uh, estrogens out of which beta estradiol is the most important one. And when we talk of functions of estrogen or as beta estradiol, their functions are going to be same. So the functions which are performed by estrogens, the first it is the female sex hormone and it helps in development of the secondary female sex organs. All associated or assisting organs that is fallopian tube, uterus, all these structures, their development is under the control of estrogens. It also helps in the development of secondary sex characters in females. And secondary sex characters in females include start of oogenesis or rather we should say restart of oogenesis, menstrual cycle, enlargement of breasts presence of a uh, hair pattern like female or development of female like hair pattern and female like voice so these are the secondary sex characters and they are controlled by estrogen other functions of estrogen estrogen decreases FSH secretion from pituitary and increases LH secretion. So one hormone secretion is reduced or decreased and other hormone secretion is increased. When LH is secreted that results into ovulation. So uh, these main functions are performed by the estrogens and this is which is essential for menstrual cycle because FSH uh, causes stimulation of follicular cells. Follicular cells grow and they secrete estrogen. One of the follicle enlarges and that is the one which is going to become egg and the egg is released when LH secretion is more. So it reduces the proliferation of uh, follicles and increases LH production so that the egg can be released or ovulation can take place. So these are the important functions which are performed by estrogens. What would happen if estrogen secretion is less? That means we are talking of hyposecretion of estrogens. If these hormones are produced in less concentration or less amount, then the condition is known as hypogonadism in case of females. And hypogonadism means here we are talking of that estrogen is produced less in less uh, amount and because of which the ovarian functions fail. So there is basically failure of ovarian functions and if ovaries do not work properly then everything gets affected. Hormone production gets affected, egg production gets affected. So basically the females they are sterile because of 
this hyposecretion and this estrogen it is required for formation of the secondary sex uh, organs as well rather not formation development of those appearance of secondary sex characters even for menstrual cycle so if this estrogen is less then menstrual cycle would not take place ovulation would not take place basically the females would be sterile this estrogen we are talking about this group of hormones one more thing which we can add here estrogens are secreted by <coughs> follicular cells <coughs> sorry, of graphene follicle in the graphene follicle there were all these follicular cells which make the membrane and they are the ones which secrete these estrogens now the second hormone which is produced by the ovaries is progesterone progesterone is again a very important hormone Progesterone is secreted by corpus luteum. Corpus luteum is formed from this graphene follicle after ovulation. So graphene follicle is a big structure which encloses the egg inside. The egg is in its secondary oocyte stage. After ovulation, the remaining part of the graphene follicle it changes into corpus luteum and this corpus luteum produces progesterone. The functions which are performed by progesterone. Number one, it helps in thickening of endometrial lining of the uterus. Thickening of endometrium. And when this endometrium becomes thick, that means the inner layer of uterus is thickening. So, implantation would take place. And this progesterone helps in implantation. Implantation means the zygote after certain divisions when it reaches up to the uterus, that is the morula or the blastula stage, it has to get implanted. It also helps in placenta formation so that now the embryo starts getting nourishment from the maternal tissue with the help of this placenta. Progesterone would also decrease the secretion of LH. Here we were talking about that estrogen reduces when estrogen concentration goes high FSH secretion is reduced that means high estrogen is going to stimulate pituitary to secrete less FSH and increase the secretion of LH so that ovulation can take place. After that uh, this corpus luteum would be formed because ovulation has taken place, egg has been released and the remaining part of graphene follicle has changed into corpus luteum. But after this, no LH is required. So if LH is not required in that high concentration, then its secretion should be reduced. So it lowers the secretion of LH. That means high progesterone is going to stimulate the ovary to decrease the secretion of LH. It also promotes proliferation of memory glands and enlargement of breasts. So these are the functions which are performed by plus, uh, sorry, by progesterone. So this is the second hormone which is produced by the ovaries. The third hormone is known as relaxin. This is the third one. Relaxin is secreted by corpus albicans. Corpus luteum towards the end of gestation period changes into corpus albicans. It starts to degenerate 
and that is the structure which is called corpus albicans. This relaxin, it helps in parturition. It basically softens, softens the pubic symphysis, pubic symphysis. And because of that softening of pubic symphysis, the opening gets little wider and it helps in parturition. So it helps in parturition. So these are the three main hormones which are secreted from the ovaries. Estrogen though we have already discussed that small quantity of estrogen is also produced or secreted from adrenal cortex but the majority of it comes from the follicular cells of the graphene follicle. Progesterone coming from corpus luteum and relaxin from corpus albicans and their main functions. Now in the next part we would take up the temporary endocrine gland that is placenta and we would try to see the various hormones which are produced by or secreted by it.